So we're here on location to do the filming and walkthrough of our brand new Camelback camper conversion for the Land Cruiser double cab. Hi guys, Jasper Hewitt. If you haven't met me yet, owner and founder of Bushwhacker Africa. Take some time, walk with me through this and I'm going to show you some amazing features that this Camelback conversion offers you on the body of this double cab Land Cruiser. Super, super excited what my team has achieved. We've worked very hard at this. We've achieved just about 100% success in how we wanted to develop and design this product and put it out there on the marketplace for you guys as 4x4 enthusiasts to enjoy. So just walk with me, let me go through with you. I'm going to do my normal full open and close everything. I'll add some information where I can about the product, how it works, what it offers, what the features are. So bear with me, this is going to be exciting, super cool. Follow me, let's take a look. So let's start with the construction. Marine aluminium, full grade marine aluminium. Why do we use that? It's tough, it's strong, it's durable, and it saves weight. That's critical for a camper like this. You want to stay within your, your GVM specifications by the manufacturer, so you're legal on the road. And that is what the aluminium marine grade full body does. And obviously the strength, this whole thing is tough as nails. So we've got a full aluminium body, the panels, everything is integrated. We've, we've chosen uh, various color options. This is the tan uh, color Land Cruiser. We've got a matching door, powder coated finish. It gives it a nice aesthetic appeal to it. It's not just a bland color. It adds life and value to it. So we've got a lot of little features here. Let's start by this guy here. So both sides, we've got these toolboxes. Nice big storage spaces for your, all your gear, odds and ends, cables, ropes, spades, recovery equipment, whatever, the, the dirty stuff. Chuck it in that box and it's there, out of the way, easy access. So if you're on the road traveling, you need to grab a a kinetic strap, or whatever you need. It's in that box, both sides, got it there. Part of the design. Going back to the weight, remember this guys, at the moment this rig has got a standard set of springs on there. We haven't upgraded the springs. All we've fitted is airbags to the suspension just to give it that bit of lift and stability of a body roll. I've taken this thing up to 140 kilometers per hour. I've done some nice series off-roading and bouncing. It drives beautifully. Look, I'm a Land Rover fanatic, but I'll give it to this guy put the weight on the back of this Land Cruiser and it's definitely a better, better ride than it was the day I fetched it. So I'm happy with that. So what we've got here is a cupboard up in this area. Um, just opens up storage. This is where you've got your gas bottle, propane, how you call it. Stores in there, it's got a valve regulator and that feeds the stove and your hot water system. Yes, it's even got a hot water system on board. So there's a nice and handy storage over there. Then we've got your fridge. That just pops out there, drop that down 180 degrees, just hangs like that. By the, by the way, we've got an air vent in here too, which you can open and close, which pressurizes the cab while you're traveling. Unless you're in dusty convoys, you keep it open and it just cools the fridge, ventilates things and keeps the dust out. So there it is. And then we've got a, a Gobi X uh, drop down fridge slide in this model. Open the lever up there, grab the handle. This is a 60 liter National Lunar, slides out. Just put a bit of pressure on that first and then you drop it down, it's easy as that. So that comes out of the way, drops in over that, and you've got access to a height which is nice and for the shorter people. Um, a light up there, yellow and white lights there, and then we go around to this side, open up that first, all these good easy press locks, seals up nicely, another light in that area there, shines down, gas struts, press that there too, and this, guys, gives you access to a kitchen. Look at all that space. Loads of space in this area. You've got your stove, two burner hob, gas stove in there. You stand up close to it. It comes with a windshield. There's a windshield that comes with it, two, two variations. Put it around there if it's windy. But right here, you can sit, stand, cook, and operate. You've got all your condiments right here, what you need. And look at this, guys. Cut your drawer, pulls out there, all your cutlery in that. Our bushwhacker foam insert, your wine goblets, plates, cups, mugs, tumblers, all that just fits in nicely and that obviously us KPs here in, this, in South Africa, we like our red wine so you get a complimentary set of three bottles that says 
welcome to the family and enjoy your outdoor experience. So that's part of the Bushwhacker value add that we put into these campers of ours. So there it is, a lot of vacuum space, your fridge is there, your, your work surface and your stove, all got lighting on that and uh, it really complements everything just around this side of the rig. And then, as you can see above us, Bushwhacker, 180 degree awning, in-house manufactured, designed for our Camelback range. Easy setup, you'll see in the demonstration video when I set up the rig, it's just pull open, pull open, clip in the ropes, pull it tight, and you've got a lovely great big awning right over here, and it's, and it's tough. I mean, you don't need to um, always have the poles out. It's got two poles that just clip in there, out of the way. This thing has got good, good sturdy strength, and if you've got your rig set up that the wind is coming from the other side, this guy is phenomenal, you don't even need poles. But I always recommend, if you're sleeping at night somewhere, put out a pole, put out a guide rope, you never know what's going to come through. You get those, those dusters that come through the Kalahari, they can take care of your awning no matter how strong it is if it's not pegged down. So just bear that in mind. Um, just for those guys that don't listen, you can read too. There's a little warning sign there that says how to look after your, your um, awning. This is strong. Aluminium construction, it bolts to the body. To break this is not going to be easy. So just, but look after it. Very happy with this awning. Extra tag points where necessary. It's got the reflective uh, coating on the top, and it just really adds value to this rig. And, and and I tell you what, it's minutes, two minutes, one minute, whatever to set up. Really quick, quick. Right. So let's go around to the back area, and I'll show you the hot water system, and the washing up area, and then we'll go around to the tent, explain that, and then we go inside, and I'll show you the volume and the space that we offered inside this rig. Yeah. So now we're here at the back of the the camper, and remember everything that we do has a feature that offers value to you. Functionality and practicality, it's, it's key in your designs. So every area that you'll see as we go through this rig has, has been utilized to the maximum. So here at the back, we've got the, um, obviously the back door, and I've got a latch on there that keeps the back door open, a little clip that keeps us out of the way when you're traveling. And while I'm here at the back, before I get into the hot water system, even this shock over here has a feature. It pushes the main lid up and down and catches it when you open and close. So with with um, weak shoulders or not too tall, you just give your lid a little lift, just a little push. And that gas strut takes over and pops the whole lot up there with the solar panel on top with the weight. You don't feel it. And when you pull it back down again, it comes down to a point. This guy catches the lid. It doesn't drop down in your head and just gently allows it to come back to its position. So just remember, all these little features add value. Right, here at the back, we've got hot water system included integrated into the back of your um, camper. Got a dust seal lid that uh, simply opens upwards. While I'm here, to, there's more value. There's a little power point here, and this guy actually feeds a cable to your shower cube, because even your shower has a little LED light built into it. So all these little features really tick the boxes. Pop it open like that. It's got a touchscreen light in here. All our touchscreen lights have three options, yellow, white, or red lighting. And uh, got a th five liter Gas keys are installed right here, connected up to the plumbing system. The water tank also offers 100 liters of, I think 100, 110 liters of water in that region, um, built under the bed, so that's already part of the rig. It supplies the hot, hot and cold water taps on your camper, so you can use that for showering, you can use it for washing up. On board, it's fantastic. So, you, And then you just have a little, little frame like this, powder coated frame, drops down, it's got a latch, drops down like that. Just open and close it, drop it in, in goes your basin, and voila, you've got a little wash station at the, station at the back here. You can use it for washing up your dishes, you can use it part of your bathroom area, and it's pre-plumbed. We come with a little couple of kits, little added value kits, some pipes that you can clip onto your taps like that. So you could extend to your containers or whatever you want to fill up. Uh, we supply you with a, a shower rose, hand shower rose. That just clips into the hot water system there. You preset your hot water at the geyser, 35, 40 degrees, depending on up to 60 degrees you can get out of that geyser. It's phenomenal, it's light on gas, it's, it's functional. Really, it's a low pressure system too, so it doesn't need a high pressure to kick that geyser in. And then you just feed this through to your shower and you've got a, a hand shower kit for your shower area, which we'll get to shortly, which doubles up as a changing cubicle at the same time. So all that comes with your Camelback rig, and then right here at the back we've got a a fire extinguisher, that's also part of your rig, just for that safety factor. So let's just open this door up again, put that latch in, and uh, move around to the shower cubicle. So this spare wheel obviously is here, it springs out of the way in between the two, so it doesn't affect anything. 
and it's part of your back bumper, which by the way, another product that we partnered with is, is Gobi X. So we partnered with Gobi X. They supply our custom-made back bumpers, a well-known brand. They've, they've shaped them and they work with us and that really adds value to the product. So well-known branded products that we use to really add value in terms of building up this whole rig to be the perfect camper. So let's go around to the shower. It's on a nice uh, shower arm, very similar to what our Sundowner camper re uh, trailers have. It swings out 180 degrees or 90 degrees on, a, on that shower bracket arm. Your cubicle just got two aluminium arms that folds out, the cubicle drops down and you've got a walk-in shower right here at the back of your rig. Easy access, come out of that and you go back inside and get dressed if you like or go to bed, whichever. So that's part of the rig, it's a great setup. And then uh, let's move around to the bed and I'll show you how easy that setup looks and how that operates. Also the, the space that it offers for sleeping and the height inside and the ventilation. So come on guys, follow me. And just one more feature I forgot to mention about the shower cubicle is that we've now added a removable nylon cap. So in the winter months or when it's cold or the wind is blowing, it simply just clips on over the front here. It can fold up with the shower or you can remove it totally in the summer months. But yeah, just, it just adds a cap to your shower cubicle, keeps the warmth inside, keeps the air out when you're showering or, or changing. Great added value and it doesn't affect anything about the opening and closing, it all folds up together easily. So that's something else that you'll get in your bushwhacker shower. So let's go to the bed. So like our um, Sundowner and trailer models, the door physically just opens and drops down. You'll see that in my demonstration video. It's, a, it's, it's like a three action setup. Latch down, drop down the door, pull the frame of the tent out, click, click it goes, and you simply hook the canvas around the bottom. It's very simple, you'll see that in my video. And it just offers this beautiful bed, high volume, inner lining, spacious windows all around, netting, fantastic. And the, the nice thing about our beds, like it, all our trailers, from the inside, you flip out your mattress. We have now a factory that we partnered up with too that makes really good foam memory cell mattresses now for us. They're comfortable, they give you a soft layer on top, firm underneath, that's part of your rig. And you come around, like I said, you flip out your mattress from the inside, throw you out your duvet, come around this side, you can stand on the ground through this window and you can tuck in and organize your bedding. You don't have to crawl into that tight space that many of the other models on the market offer you. That's something that Bushwacker doesn't offer you. We give you space, you can stand and operate and you can really, because this is where you're going to spend a lot of time while you're camping. You sit, you lie here and read, you sleep, whatever. And uh, it's good to be able to make up your bed comfortably and, and, and it must be exciting, it must feel that you need to do it with ease. So let's come around to this side and I'll show you then where the table pulls out. Right, hang on, before I move on too fast, there's more. All our tents come with this heat reflective canvas that pops out over the top of your bed area. So it keeps it cool inside, additional rain feed uh, coverage and protection. So yeah, this is standard. And then remember the red spring rods, that's for the bed set up. So remember that when you're setting up your, you, and you open up the bag, you've got blue and red. Blue's at the back, red's for the bed. And then um, over here we've got the water inlet. Don't forget that, the water inlet to fill up your water tank. And then there's one more feature which I must mention while I'm here. You've got a toolbox this side, you've got the diesel inlet this side, and then this tap and outlet right there, if you can see that. That is your gravity feed out, but it has the additional feature that you can actually reverse with a bit of plumbing valves to suck water back through that pipe into your plumbing system and that feeds the geyser with water for the hot water system. So you don't have to keep drawing water from your tank which is mounted here. You can then use an external source of water like a container or a bucket or whatever river and use that water to go and shower with. So that is an added value that's come standard with the Bushwacker Camelback models. Right, so we talked about the table. A table is, is, is great because when you have a quick stop along the side of the road and making tea and sandwiches, that's fine, the work surface works. But when you set up camp and you're spending more time, you've got the fire going and you've got the pots out, you need work surface. And this is what we're offering you. A nice large table, aluminium table that pulls out, just keeps coming, look at that, just keeps coming. 1.7 meters in length. Comes down like that, it's nice and light. And you simply have these two Velcro straps, release that there and out kicks that leg. Same on that side. Now is that easy or is that easy? I mean that is so great, look at that. It's so light, anybody can do it. And there you go. Chuck it down on the ground, find a level spot and you've got a table. And you know what's great about this 
the surface. You can come and cut on that, work on that, you can put your grid on there, whatever. It doesn't melt. If it gets dirty, you clean it. If it gets scratched, so what? It's a camping table. But that is a great feature to go with your rig when you're outdoor camping. So that's the bushwhacker table that slots in there, in this track, underneath the overhang of this uh, camper. And while we're talking about the overhang, this guy looks like something, but when you go inside, you're going to see the real added value of why I've got this guy coming out over the roof and what it offers you inside. So, let's go around and have a look inside. I'm super excited about that. And this is where you're really going to see the value of what the Camelback offers compared to what our competitors are offering you in the market. Let's have a look at the back entrance and uh, just highlight a couple of the key features that we have at the back of this Camelback. So, the stairs. You know, many guys don't really have a good set of stairs and access to your camper. Look at these. Lightweight aluminium. They simply just fold up. They hinge over here, fold up behind your door, and you travel like that. Similar to our Sundowner model. Open up the, the latch and drop that down. As simple as that. Another good feature. Look at this grab handle. A good, solid, comfortable sized grab handle that Bushwacker manufactures for these uh, Camelback models. So you can grab it, put your step on there, and go up quite comfortably and safely. Another feature is got this huge big back door, full height, no obstruction up there, you walk in full height, and in this door you've got pockets, you've got a lot of extra packing space, easy access while you're outside camping, and uh, you can store items in that, shoes, whatever, so lots of options. We also include this little canvas flap with the rig, with the Velcro here, you just put that over this door entrance, over there, look at that, and it protects your rubber seal as you walk in and out of your camper all day long camping. So that's part of the rig, staircase. You've got a canvas door and a net door, and this door also doubles up as a security door so you can close it from the inside and lock it. It's got a latch there, you can lock it from the inside, gives you a, a solid door. There's the grab handle over that to pull it closed. Let's go up the stairs, go up like this. And then while I'm up here, let me just focus again on blue. The spring rods for these guys at the back canopy are blue. You've got two shorter ones and one long one goes at the middle. As simple as that. Blue at the back, red on the right hand side, starboard if you're a sailing guy, a yachting man. That is for the bed. Um, so that, there it is. And there you can see the shaft that helps you push up and down the lid from this point of view. So guys, I'm almost 1.9 meters tall in my boots. Look at this. Easy access. I don't have to bend, fold over, double myself up into a little smaller sized shape and crawl in. I can just walk straight in into this camelback and just feel the height, the volume around me and the breeze. So let's go inside and have a look at what it offers. So like with all our designs, we try and create a good feeling of space inside, a good place you want to actually be inside, you want to feel comfortable inside. And as you can see in here, you've got a lot of headroom, ventilation, space all around you that allows you to move and even if you two of you sitting in here or changing is possible um, and that's what's so exciting about these these developments and designs of bushwhacker so features loads and loads of features inside this rig so let me start with i mentioned that overhang over the front of your cab so that was developed also to give you i could have stopped the rig right here we could have stopped it there but i wanted that, that feeling of space and volume and at the same time we created this whole shelf packing clothing, jackets, additional bedding, blankets, books, whatever you like. It's a whole big area there to pack something on. And then at the same point, this area here above the kitchen, loads of more packing space. You put all your loose items, toiletries, what, 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 what. So we've got this additional inside flip-up mirror, which allows you to make sure you look beautiful in the morning when you get up, camping. You never know who you're gonna meet outside. <laughs> anyway, so that just flips out of the way like that, easy access all these pockets, the storage, and as you sit down, you can get access to all this. And another, th another good feature about all these canvas panels that we fit around the rig, it hides the aluminium, yes, but it also adds insulation. You don't get that direct contact to metal external condensation feature that you often get in some of these designs that are just metal sprayed. Even our roof is insulated with a 25 millimeter polystyrene, which adds value below the solar panels. It, it all just keeps everything much cooler inside than you'd imagine it to be. This work surface, big work surface, you can sit, you can set up a laptop in there, workstation, you can actually even, if it's weather, it's inclement weather outside, it's not, not lacquer, come inside, bring a little gas cooker, set it up here, 
boil up some water, make some tea and coffee. That's what it's there for. And then I've got this little work surface. Just drop that out of the way. That comes up. And it's got a, a chain that clips in there. As easy as that, look at that. Bang. So I can sit here. I can now do some work too. I can eat something and my partner can bring her little chair in there or I can sit, then she can sit here. And two of you can at least just sit at the table and eat something and still get access in and out from outside. So that's a little feature that really adds value to your interior experience. And then underneath the bed, look at that. All that space, great space for adding in more packing, bedding, side panels, whatever extra gear that you have, you, depending how you travel, pack it in there. That's where the water tank is stored, so that's under that area there. There's the inverter, uh, Victron inverter, lithium battery underneath that area. So we standard have a 108 amp hour lithium battery. You can upgrade to 200, but for this rig, the 400 watts of solar panel on the roof, the lithium, and it's very mobile. This thing is total off grid. So you don't, you can still camp five days in one spot, not have to drive or start the engine and you'll have power. So we include that. You've got a water meter. If you come down here and look, there's a, a control panel to all your power points, USB lights and what, what, what and a water meter too that gives you the level of your water tank, uh, external power from your inverter or from AC power. So you've got a three-way switch system inside here so you can have shore power put in to the rig, charges the system through a Victron charger. You've got the Victron MPPT is on the solar system. And if you're running off your inverter, you switch over to inverter, like a mini grid solar system and everything's powered then by the inverter. So let's just drop that down again. Easy as that on the gas strut drops down there. We've also got a little little USB panel and switch over here. So at night you can plug your cell phone into that and hook it into one of the pockets and it's stored out of the way, easy to reach if you need it. Uh, interior lighting, plenty, touch lights, different options, yellow, red, white. Uh, your roof also yellow and white option. So in the evenings you want to keep the net open, keep the midges and the bugs out, leave them the yellow function or brighter light if you need the white. So that's in the roof. Um, I've added some more lighting here that lights up the workstation. We've got a swivel light just for your reading light at night. You can sit here and put a pillow behind your head and just relax and read your book. It's right there. Look, you guys can tell me how you want your lighting. So not, it's not in stone how it's set up, but this is pretty much how you could imagine your rig with enough lighting, USB power points, just to plug in your gadgets and enjoy the interior space at night. Features like this too, added value. If you ever have a failure for some reason, a gas strut fails and lifts the lid up, you've got this back up, you just clip it in there and give it a push. And voila, you can still go camping. It's not electric, it's not gonna motorize, it's not a system that will fail and, and uh, affect your traveling experience. So one thing about Bushwhacker, once again, I, remember, I mentioned before, practicality and functionality. It's key to really being outdoors. When you travel, things go wrong. It's rough and ready, and you want products that really live up to uh, surviving a long-term rough and ready off-road trip so bear that in mind yeah so I think that covers pretty much uh, a lot of the features inside here um, your grab handles there that easy you can just literally grab that and pull that down as easy as that and that allows all that packing space still the volume available and obviously when we pack up your bed staggers onto three stacks high about that high the bed wall comes down there and all this interior space is open. So there's not that you, you have to cram everything in when it's closed up, there's no, no packing space. The interior is open. You can still come in from the outside, get something out of the, out of the pockets. You can leave your bedding made up on top of the mattresses. So everything adds value. And you've got the floor space, nice vinyl finish here, easy to clean. And you can put a few you know, ground sheets or a step or whatever. And your chairs can stack, stack in this area when you travel. And we, we have little elastic straps that you can put there and st strap stuff against this wall too if necessary. So that's, those are the finer details. When you talk to the team and you place your order and you want to work out how you want to pack your in interior space, we chat to you, say, I've got two chairs, I've got whatever, and we make it happen. That's what we do. At Bushwhacker, we make it happen. We look after you, our client. Yeah, okay, let's go and have a look outside. I've got one more feature to do, tell you guys, and that is 
the actual value add to the 4x4, the accessories, what the Camelback version, the Camelback uh, 4x4 fitment center does, how we add value to your vehicle, and what we can accessorize your vehicle with too. So I'd just like to run through those, and then it's up to you guys to contact me shortly. Okay, as mentioned, we don't just add value by supplying you with a Camelback camper, we actually take the full vehicle and can customize that fully to what your requirements are. We have access to everything. Our Camelback 4x4 fitment center is able to accommodate things like we fit roof racks, front runner roof racks, spare wheel bracket mounts, additional spare wheel, jerry can holders, mirror extensions, we can put that on there too. Snorkels, if that doesn't come with a snorkel. Bull bars, uh, we've partnered with MCC uh, bull bars. They supply us a range of different bull bars for the Land Cruiser models. The Roomba winches, that's installed there too. 9,000 or 12,000, depending what size winch you would like on that. Um, wheel spacers, suspension, we work with Tough Dog as well, we put their suspension kits in, springs, upgrades, interior, fridge freezers, um, flex the consoles, radio systems, camera systems, reverse camera systems, everything you need, seat covers, the whole rig, we can really customize your Land Cruiser to be the ultimate vehicle to what you dream and want and want to travel in and, and uh, drive. So talk to Bushwhacker, talk to Camelback and make it happen. Now we're super excited about the product range we offer nowadays. It's, it's really there for your purpose to go out and camp and enjoy the outdoors. So chat to our team, bushwhacker.africa and let's make it happen. So that concludes our tour of the Camelback. If it excites you the way it excites me and you feel you want to be part of that adventure, you want to drive a Camelback conversion, contact our sales team today and let's make it happen. Bushwhacker.africa, for you and the family. Explore the spacious Bushwhacker Camelback range of camper conversions. Available for the Toyota Land Cruiser 79 series, single and double cab models, as well as Toyota Hilux, Ford Ranger and Isuzu D-Max extended cab models. For more information, visit www.bushwhacker.africa or contact our head office today and experience Bushwhacker, taking you further.